The Fort Dodge woman charged with helping kill her newborn and hide the body is now pleading guilty. 25 year old Taylor Blaha changed her plea to guilty this morning just minutes before being sentenced. KCCI's Kayla James was the only TV reporter in the courtroom. She shows us what led to this immediate sentencing. Kayla. Taylor Blaha changing her plea Friday morning to guilty, going from first degree murder charges to now second degree in the death of her newborn. She also asked for immediate sentencing after sharing what she says happened last November. We want to warn you what you're about to hear may be graphic and hard to hear for some. I'm pleading the as he Taylor Blaha in front of her family and the judge in the Webster County Courthouse admitting she played a role in the death of her baby girl last November. This plea change dropping her from facing life in prison. You'll be admitted to custody of the Out Department of Corrections for a term not to exceed 50 years. Just minutes before being sentenced, Blaha sharing what she says happened after giving birth to her baby girl on November 16th, 2022, involving her boyfriend Brandon Toma, drug use, and concern about her other child. Brandtoma convinced me that if DHS found out about my Matthews, they would take my son from me. He convinced me that the only way out of this was to drown the baby in the bathtub. Fort Dodge police searching for days last November and December for the remains of baby Kaylee. Investigators say text messages show Toma hid the baby in a wooded area, but her remains were never found. He told me what to do and how to do it. Toma initially faced a first degree murder charge, but in July, he pled guilty. Toma will now be sentenced for child endangerment resulting in death and abuse of a corpse in September. As for Blaha, I believe you're there. Thank you. The 25 year old has a chance for parole in 35 years. In Fort Dodge, Kayla James, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.